OP BNB could easily be the largest airdrop incoming. We must be prepared for this one. OP BNB will be a leading Ethereum layer 2 network, so we cannot miss this. In the past, we've already made an OP BNB tutorial. However, we have more tasks to complete, and I would recommend watching that before you continue with this one. So, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to qualify for the OP BNB airdrop that is coming and could be around the corner. This will also be a bonus this three-in-one airdrop where we'll be interacting with Orbiter Finance and the Polyhedra. So let's not waste any time and remember nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Okay guys, Let's jump straight into the video. Now, let's start off with the easy tasks because we've got some long tasks to do. Well, it won't take that long, but it's going to be longer than the ones that we are doing now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Polyhedra to mint an NFT, and then we are going to be bridging it over to the OPBNB network. Now, now first things first, we're going to go over to where it says combo network.io forward slash mint. I'm going to leave all the official links for you. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I recommend that you must have watched the first OPBNB video that we did where we set up the test net and we actually got OPBNB testnet tokens because you will need to have testnet tokens to receive the nft on the other side when we when we bridge over the nft that we're going to be minting now if you haven't done that then i'll leave the video linked in the description below however if you go up into metamask scroll down you can find the op bnb testnet we have testnet tokens and if you haven't got testnet tokens all you have to do is go over to the bnb chain website which i'll leave linked as well go over to chains go over to op bnb testnet click over to full set and you'll be able to get some tokens now going back thus for those of you who didn't do the first First video we're going to go over to where it says combo testnet and you're going to need to have testnet tokens on the combo network as well which could be a potential airdrop now you go up to ecosystem and you click full set and you just get yourself full set testnet tokens but for us we're going to connect our wallet choose metamask confirm on the bnb chain now it's asking us to switch to the combo testnet so this is to participate in the event by the way so we confirm now this is asking us to join the discord so we click join complete all the tasks that are necessary guys it's glitching out at the moment it might take some time all you'd have to do is just go in, verify that you're in the Discord, go back, and then you just click join and verify Discord, then you follow and verify Twitter, and then you join and verify Telegram. This isn't the most important task, so guys, relax if it doesn't work. Just come back when it starts working again. It's probably very congested. That's probably why everyone's doing it, so you can't get on it right now. So the servers are slow. Let's go back and let's complete this later. Now, I'll leave the link here for you. So you'd mint the NFT, go to the ZK bridge, and then you would select a network, choose your NFT. So let's just say it was on the BNB chain or the combo network, whatever it would be on. You'd import your NFT, do this, confirm, and then you click confirm import, and then it's going to ask you to choose a network to send it to. And then you would choose op bnb and then you would click next and then transfer now we're not going to be doing that right now the next step is to go over to orbiter finance and you're going to need to have some bnb tokens in your wallet orbiter finance is the first protocol to open up the bridge and gate to the op bnb mainnet now i don't think you can actually interact with the op bnb mainnet right now however the good news is we can now get bnb tokens from the orbiter finance bridge on the bnb chain all the way over to the op bnb mainnet you can't actually bridge over ethereum so you're going to get yourself over to the BNB chain, just like so. On Orbit Finance, the top one's going to be BNB chain and the bottom one is going to be OP BNB. Now, you're going to bridge over as much BNB as you like. I'm going to be doing 0.0369 BNB over to the OP BNB chain. It's going to take 15 minutes to send, guys, so don't worry if it takes some time. Click confirm and send. One cent gas fee, absolutely incredible. Confirm it. Now, if I click the switch network, it's going to add the network for us. OP BNB network. This is the main net, which is fantastic. We've never used before click confirm and click confirm once again now this is the op bnb network the main net and all we have to do is wait for our BNB tokens to receive and it will head over into our wallet. Like I said, it will take up to 15 minutes and this is going to qualify us for the Orbiter Finance airdrop as well as obviously the OP BNB airdrop once we are able to get the tokens on this side, which while it was under 15 minutes, literally took 10 seconds and it's done. And that's that. Now, you can't actually transfer from the OP BNB network to the BNB chain as it is not open yet. We can only deposit our tokens into the mainnet. So we're officially ready for when the OP BNB mainnet 
in there is fully open to everyone. However, for now, that is all we can do. So we're done with Orbiter Finance and the mainnet. And the next step is completing the official BNB chain testnet to mainnet campaign. Now we're going to be getting a Genesis NFT, which will make us extremely early. And we can also win a prize pool of $50,000. And all we have to do is follow these tasks that they have given us. Now this is an official BNB blog. It has all the necessary links here for you. So it has the website, it has the bridge, by the way, this is all testnet stuff, not mainnet stuff. It's got the full set explorer and so on. Now, if you watched the first part to our OP BNB airdrop tutorial, then you would have already done most of these tasks that we're about to do. However, we're going to start from scratch and do all of the tasks as if we're a new user and we are completing the campaign. The first challenge is to deposit TBNB, which is the testnet token from the Binance Smart Chain testnet to the OP BNB testnet. Follow the detailed guidance provided here. You can utilize the official OP BNB bridge or the Optimism Bridging SDK. Use the tools available opbnb testnet bridge .bnb chain forward slash deposit so to complete this task successfully we're going to click here this is the official bridge we're going to connect our wallet choose metamask connect connect now it's going to ask us to switch from opbnb or whatever network you're on to the binance smart chain test network and as you can see we have got testnet tokens which you can see here and you can see here now if you haven't got any tokens you're going to click this button where it says full set click i am a human complete the capture now you, all you have to do is go up into your wallet, copy your address, paste it here, give me BNB. Funding requested and any minute it will just appear in your wallet. It might take some time if it's congested. Now going back, what we're going to do is we're going to bridge over some tokens like it said. So as you can see, it says deposit TBNB from the BSC testnet to the OP BNB testnet, which we are going to do now. What we're going to do is we're going to use our testnet tokens and bridge it over to the OP BNB testnet like I said. So I'm going to do 0 0.09. Make sure to leave some for gas fees and you're going to click deposit. Deposit. So click confirm and it's as simple as that. Just wait. Fantastic. Now, if we scroll down, you can also use a third party bridge like Polyhedra, which we used earlier or which I showed you how to use anyway. But now if we go back over to the guide, it says withdraw TBNB from OPBNB testnet to the Binance Smart Chain testnet. So all we have to do is go over to where it says withdraw from the OPBNB testnet. So we just go over here, swap over to our networks where you can see OPBNB testnet. Our tokens were bridged over. So we've got 0.11 testnet BNB tokens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bridge back half the amount which as you can see it's going to take 10 to 30 minutes could be quicker but that is what we're going to do so click withdraw confirm this and as we wait we'll just see it confirm in a second the network is congested because this is quite slow for a, for a layer two however carrying on we can see that has been completed now we have to go over to history now you can see it's been completed both deposits and like i said to confirm that your withdrawals have been completed you go to history go to withdrawals and it says finalize withdrawal and you just confirm this so that has been completed now we do the same with the other one when that's done and now that we've completed task one and task two and you just have to wait for that other transaction for the withdrawal one to be completed and finalized but moving on to task three we have to deposit BEP20 tokens from the BSC testnet to the OPBNB testnet. So as you can see, these are all the tokens available. And all you have to do is go over to the full set page again. So to get there, you go over to the bridge, get to the full set button, it will take you over to the other page. And instead of clicking give me BNB, all you have to do is get your wallet address again like this, input your address, choose Peggy tokens, not BNB, and then choose one of the following tokens, anyone. And as you can see, 23 hours left before I can click it again. And that is because I've already used the full set within the last 24 hours. And sadly, I cannot do it again. So what we'll have to do is you have to wait 24 hours if you've already requested for assets. If you haven't, then all you have to do is carry on and do the same process. Just withdraw those tokens from the OPBNB testnet like we did with the normal tokens. You would just do the same with USDC, USDT or whichever token you choose from the full set. And then the next step. So say we've done these, the next step would be to transfer our TBNB to other addresses on the OPBNB testnet. So go over to MetaMask, go over to the OPBNB testnet like so. Now I'm going to have another account. I'm just going to get this wallet address up here. I'm going to go back to my account where I have assets. I'm going to click send. And remember, this has to be on the OPBNB testnet, not the Binance Smart Chain testnet. And I'm just going to send 0.01 to test BNB. So click next and confirm. And that is now sending. Now, scrolling down, like I said, if you have those BEP20 tokens like the USDC, Bitcoin, USDT and so on, then you can now transfer those assets to other wallets, just like we did with transferring the test BNB, you would do the same with the other assets. So say if that was USDT, I would send USDT to that exact same wallet address I did with the other tokens. Now, after you've done task six, the next important task is to mint your own NFT. So we go over to OPBNB scan and 
As you can see down here, you're going to click connect wallet. So click connect, connect, connect. And once you've connected your wallet, all you have to do is, so step one is only connect your wallet, ignore this approve section. All you have to do now is go to where it says mint and you click write. And as you can see, you pay a minuscule gas fee, confirm it. Now we have to view our transaction. And if we go here, we can see that it was a success contract, mint of OP BNB Genesis NFT testnet. So we've minted the NFT, mint your NFT and witness your creativity come to life, view transaction and NFT. With these seven tasks, you're well on your way to mastering event number two of the OP OPBNB campaign. Each completed task brings you closer to understanding the intricacies of OPBNB and advancing towards the mainnet. So embark on this journey, conquer the task and showcase your prowess on the OBNB platform. So after completing all of these guys, you are good to go. And now you can win your share of a 50 grand prize pool as well as get the hands on the Genesis NFT, which will increase our odds of getting the OPBNB airdrop. If you don't complete this guys, then don't worry, it's not the end of the world. There'll be more events to complete. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. However, the last thing you can do is basically the galaxy version of that task and as you can see down here you will get 300 points all you have to do is follow bnb chain retweet this tweet that it has over here you just click repost and you join the bnb chain community on telegram once you do that you just wait for it to say eligible and claim and you'll be able to get 300 points officially from the bnb chain galaxy campaign so that is that guys if you are confused or if you have any questions at all please don't forget you can ask me on twitter at high crypto guy don't forget to follow jules at alt crypto gems on twitter and also let us know what airdrops you want us to complete next and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video and we also have a promotion running on bybit the the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning, Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time DGENs.